Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time, continuing in the book of Acts, chapter 13. We um, are seeing Paul proclaim Jesus to Jewish people who he's setting up the, the context for Jesus coming as the Messiah. We continue in verse 24. He says, before he came, John the Baptist preached that all the people of Israel needed to repent of their sins and turn to God and be baptized. As John was finishing his ministry, he asked, do you think I am the Messiah? No, I am not. But he is coming soon, and I'm not even worthy to be, to be his slave and untie the sandals on his feet. Brothers, you sons of Abraham, and also you God-fearing Gentiles, this message of salvation has been sent to us. The people in Jerusalem and their leaders did not recognize Jesus as the one the prophets had spoken about. Instead, they condemned him. And in doing this, they fulfilled the prophet's words that are read every Sabbath. They found no legal reason to execute him, but they asked Pilate to have him killed anyway. When they had done all that the prophecies had said about him, they took him down from the cross and placed him in a tomb but God raised him from the dead. And over a period of many days, he appeared to those who had gone with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. They are now his witnesses to the people of Israel. And now we are here to bring you this good news. The promise was made to our ancestors and God has now fulfilled it for us. Their descendants by raising Jesus from the dead. This is what the second Psalm says about Jesus. You are my son. Today I have become your father. For God had promised to raise him from the dead, not leaving him to rot in the grave. He said, I will give you the sacred blessings I promised to David. Another Psalm explains it more fully. You will not allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. This is not a reference to David. For after David had done the will of God in his own generation, he died and was buried with his ancestors and his body decayed. No, it was a reference to someone else someone whom God raised and whose body did not decay. Who is that someone? It's talking about Jesus. This is such an important part of Paul's, his explanation to the Jews and to the God-fearing Gentiles. And this is vitally important to what we have to do as we share Jesus with others. Notice how much time he spends talking about the prophecy of what would happen to the Messiah and then the fulfillment of that prophecy. The prophecy that Jesus would be crucified, that he would die, that he would be buried, and then he would be raised from the dead. The most important part about the gospel message is that Jesus was raised from the dead. In order to fully grasp the relationship that God wants us to have with him, we have to reconcile in our hearts and in our minds and in our spirits the fact that Jesus did rise from the dead. Everything after that is just extraneous. The key element is to know and to believe that Jesus rose from the dead. It's the greatest miracle that has ever taken place. Because you see, as, as, the, as Paul explained, David was a great guy on occasions, but he died and his body rot. His body rotted in the grave. Jesus did not experience that. Jesus died and then God raised him from the dead. That is the key element of the gospel message. So my encouragement to us today is this. Let us hold on to that message that Jesus is alive. He's alive. And because of that, because of that, we have hope. Will you pray with me? 
Father, we come to you on this Wednesday morning and we thank you that we have hope because Jesus did rise from the dead. He did not stay in that tomb. The tomb could not hold him. And we thank you that you raised him from the dead and he's alive forevermore. And because of that, we have eternal hope. Fill us with that thought today, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. As always, um, I trust that you go out there and make it a wonderful Wednesday. Share Jesus with someone. And until tomorrow morning, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.